to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and today I'm going to take a look at a movie I rented last week out of the Red Box. Red? Because it's Red Riding Hood? Ha <laughs> ha! This is my review of the 2011 mystery slash horror slash fantasy film Red Riding Hood. sees a young girl fall in love with a woodcutter, even though her family doesn't approve. Tisk tisk tisk, and uh, in a village that is haunted by a werewolf. Really? Yes. All right. Amanda Seyfried plays Valerie, who is Red Riding Hood. Go figure. <laughs> Gary Oldman plays Solomon who is a man of the cloth, a priest, whatnot, I guess, uh, and he has some interesting ways about him. Billy Burke plays Caesar, or something like that, <laughs> and he is Red Riding Hood's dad. Shiloh Fernandez plays Peter, who is the woodsman, who little Red Riding Hood's got a little crush for. Max Irons plays Henry, who is the man that Valerie is supposed to marry. Virginia Madsen plays Suzette, Riding Hood's mom. And Lucas Haas plays Father August. August, whatever. He's a priest in the village. And then, of course, we have Julie Christie, who plays Grandmother. I wonder what that role involves with. So, what did I think of Red Riding Hood? Is it a wonderful adaptation of the classic fairy tale, or is it a big pile of shit? Well, you guessed it. Big pile of shit it is. <laughs> I think Red Riding Hood is a pretty lame adaptation of the classic fairy tale. I wasn't a fan of the story, and it's pretty much nothing like the tale you've grown up with. Uh, it turns the big bad wolf into a werewolf, which, being the director, is Catherine Hardwick, who brought us the first Twilight. Thanks for that one. It doesn't surprise me, you know, since werewolves are in every frickin' movie that comes out these days. Uh, <laughs> um, and Red Riding Hood they basically make as a witch. Because she can talk to the wolf. Oh, spoiler alert, I, I think not. Anyway, um, it's more of a whodunit mystery uh, than anything. Which puts anyone uh, could be the wolf. Anyone with brown eyes could be the wolf. Even, you know, Granny is a suspect in this tale. Jeez. Anyway, it's almost also like a teen soap opera. As Valerie has to decide between... The man she's got the hots for, the woodsman, and her arranged marriage, which is who she doesn't really like, but they all sort of look like the same thing. Like they just sort of strolled off the set of uh, Pretty Little Liars or something like that, you know? But, um, you know, and it's a love triangle. Where have we, uh, does that sound familiar to you guys? I, I thought so. Really? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I should rate this movie. Really? Really? Anyway, the cast is okay for what it is. Um, Amanda Seyfried is tolerable at best. I, I really haven't, not a fan of her movies lately. Definitely not. She pretty much flew off the map after Mean Girls. Anyway, um, Gary Oldman, of course, is the best part of this film. If you gotta pick something, as Gary Oldman can do no wrong, he's good in this film. But, uh, you know, he must have owed someone a favor to have ended up here. Uh, one more thing I actually liked about this film was the scenery. And uh, the setting and where it takes place and whatnot. Because I thought it was actually pretty cool. The film is too much like Twilight for me. And it just seemed like a spin-off. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. 
But uh, anyway, it's pro it's probably not a good sign when you're rooting for the wolf to kill everyone. Uh, the only people who will probably enjoy this film are Twilight fans and, of course, teenage girls. Uh, if you're not either one of those, I would stay far away from this film. Therefore, the A-list gives the film Red Riding Hood the rating of Suck It! Yeah, I haven't done that for a while. Don't worry, we got another one coming next week. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it gets us. Suck it. Suck it long and suck it hard, Amanda Seyfried. So, if you are interested in checking out Red Riding Hood, you can by getting it through Redbox, Netflix, and of course at a DVD store near you. So, until the A-list later today, or until the next review, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course, check out this review and every review at Rotten Tomatoes.com. So... Until next time, peeps, troop.